um, probably the fastest moving vehicle that you can build within like two seconds okay it's ridiculously fast so let's say you come into a map and you're playing with your friends and you're like god i gotta walk all the way across the other side of the map to get to my friend not any longer let me introduce you to the mini rocket sled now i don't know if this has been done already but uh this thing is insane uh i think c top had a video where he did something like this and i'm gonna see if i can maybe recreate what he did but it was something that was really low to the ground and then i just i thought about it just today i was like how did he make that thing and i think that you can do this with any um with any block maybe you don't even need to have wheels or anything the thing let me just see if i can hit a uh, jump or something because the thing is ridiculous and as long as you can kind of get it going as long as you can kind of start controlling it, you can actually get it going. And I have the thing boosted up like ridiculously fast, probably higher than what I need to have it. But it's it's more fun faster, I think. All right, so let me let me see here. Because once you catch air, you can actually kind of control the thing a little bit and then stabilize it again. But I think I think I have it turned up too much. And we go. But it's, the thing is, like, ridiculously fast. Yeah, and I think C-Top must have done this. I think he, it was a tile vehicle. So I'm going to try tiles next and see if, if this is what he did. Look at this thing. It's so much fun, and you can you can kind of control it. I just need to work out a way to flip the thing back over. I also think that, I mean, this thing is so much fun. It's such a simple thing, and you can make this so fast. I mean, it's one, two three, four different things, five different things with bearings. Um, so let me see, if I turn this down a little bit, is it going to be able to be controlled a little bit? Also, I wonder if I lower the uh, extension of these arms, if that's going to help too. Yeah, that, that definitely makes it better. So, I mean, then you can just... Oh, hold on, I'm coming, man. I'll be there in like two seconds because this thing is amazing. As long as you don't clip a tree. But I was uh, I was looking at... like C-Top's got like a bunch of different cool designs that he's made. And I and I don't remember if he if, it, if it, whatever it was was the focal point of the video or not, uh, but I remember him f driving around on something like this, and then I was like, how did he do that? And then I was like, M did he just put? Because I thought it was a hovering vehicle at first, and I mean that that's what this would appear to look like is a hovering vehicle, but it's actually not. It's just gliding across the ground. So let me see if I true. Let me do wood once. So that is a what? size is this one two three four five six seven eight okay eight and i actually wonder if that even matters one two three four five six seven one more probably over here too one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so then we put down our seat and then we put down our, this is how you make it, bearing, bearing, three, that, that, so everything's like kind of level, that's going the right way, that's going the right way, connect these up, connect this up, and then we'll put this up the three from the end, five, and that's it. That's how you make it. So I wonder if this move... Oh, okay. Yep, it does. Oh, it's not going the right way. I thought it was. I thought I had it right for once. Um, yeah, that is... That must have been what he did. Because you can do this for anything. It doesn't... Ha Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, this thing is crazy. This is awesome, man. Oh, you know what? Would it help to... Uh Add a thruster here. And then connect that up. It's definitely going to slow it down a little bit until we lower the thing. Let's go to two. Two seems to be a very good... Does that actually make it more controllable or less? Because now it's not going to glide as much and it's going to hit bumps and then freak out probably. Yeah, that actually just screws it up. It's way better... Way better the other way. So he, that's, that must, okay, so that's all I have to do to turn it back over. Let's just roll the thing. Okay, so since this is lighter material, it's, uh, 
and it's nuts because you can actually kind of fly the thing which is amazing this is better than anything I've ever made <laughs> it's the simplest creation ever you can, dude this is like an this is like stunts right here. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Um, so if we use, okay, so that's metal. What's the weight on this thing? Medium weight. Okay, so let's use metal. Wait, isn't there a, what's this thing? Is this medium? This is heavyweight. Let's use this thing. Cause this might actually be, uh, no, it's not. Um, Okay, so more than likely this is not going to move at all. So let's use let's use metal blocks. And we'll go A down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. So let's do that. I have a feeling that this is not going to move. And then it only works with lightweight materials. But it's worth trying out. This is this is so fun. Like these are the funniest little things ever. Okay, and so I do also want to say that yes, so whatever C Top made was like kind of the inspiration behind the idea. I don't even know what video it's in, or I would link it. You know his channel, go check his channel out. Um He's in the he's in the featured channel page too on my page because we've played together i'm not stealing an idea okay and then also i want to also say that if you guys see videos and and things have already been done you can't immediately say hey you stole that idea because who knows i mean there's probably you th oh so we just have to increase that like who knows how many people have made that and maybe you've only seen like a bigger youtuber made it maybe a maybe a youtuber with like 800 subs made it or something like that and you would never even know it because he's such a small channel that there's no way for you to find find the stuff unless you've looked up that specific thing um so yeah you can't immediately cry like you stole that or whatever because you don't know who made it first could have been a small guy maybe maybe that first big youtuber you saw stole the idea from that little guy you know who knows i can't believe that this works this is nuts it's just gliding across the ground okay so metal seems to be maybe the most controllable out of all of them but so far the funnest design has been using that staircase thing um and it's already the perfect size because you just plop the thing down put your seat on it and then put your bearings in i wonder if i let me try something once what happens if we just do two out? It's still gonna move, it's still gonna turn how we want, and it's gonna probably look better too. Let's try this. And what do we have? Five, right? For these? And we could probably control. Okay, so that still works. We could probably actually only use one block, maybe. No, that won't work. I just had wondered if that third if that third block caused any issues or anything. So I wonder how can we we could do like some kind of thing where when you hit this direction there's another weaker there's a weaker thruster that uh op that operates that allows it to uh kind of be controlled a little bit more on the side so what if we did like probably want to do the front and then these aren't going to be attached uh, no they need to be attached because we need to have bearings for being able to trigger which one's which but they won't you won't let them move that's not the point of these. The point is... Oh, wait, no. This is not what we want to do. How do we want to do this? We can use a button. But we I want it to simultaneously, when I hit D, 
it activates. Oh, what if we did a sensor? We did some kind of sensor thing. Let me think about this. So what if we did, um, or this would swing an arm back. So when I hit one direction, When I hit one direction, we want it. We want it right opposite, don't we? Well, it did, actually, this doesn't even matter. We just need to have one. We just need one on here, and then we have the thruster. So let's put the thruster on here. Thruster on here, and then we have some little system. that see this is the only problem it's uneven now so we need to have a we have a bearing here that probably has three out so that when this turns one direction it triggers a sensor so let's do I'm trying to think of how to do this Is there any way? We have to do two sensors, I think. So when that turns, we're gonna need this to. That's the only problem is that it's gonna when it hit when it detects something, it's gonna freak out. It's gonna cause it to turn. I'm trying to think of a way to do this. kind of the idea is there so when we turn to the left we want the right one we want the left one to hit so turn to the right this one will be powered that will st oh that's too much actually no, I had it right the right way the first time it's cross. So yeah, that's the only problem is that it's no longer going to glide as well, and those things are going to always be on. I don't know if there's a way to do this easily, unless I built it above the. I could build it above maybe. It's kind of working. Give it a little bit more control. I don't know. Maybe I have it. Maybe I have it backwards. I don't even know. At this point, it kind of ruined the design though, because now it's not as fast and it's uneven. It's lopsided. It's not bad though. But the thing is, is that I needed to have. Re okay, so. This isn't going to work because I'd have to what I'd have to do to get this to work how I, how I'm thinking is I'd have to build it above because the thing is is that what I wanted to have happen is that when I make a minor adjustment like that it triggers and pushes it just a little bit so I don't spin out of control because that's the biggest issue is that when you do that you have to like really gently tap the thing put on barely any input or the thing freaks out and so that's kind of the thing I was thinking of was getting it so that when I gave it just barely any input it would actually trigger one way even it out even more so it doesn't do that huge sway thing it's kinda of the idea but anyway I thought I would show you this because I thought uh, this would be a fun thing to show and how the quickest way to get around the map uh, with like the short amount of needed items so if you need to go find your friend in multiplayer or something like that this is all you have to do is make something like this and you can go over there real fast or whatever. Um, really cool. I think this would be a really fun thing to do with like a bunch of people and have a race with these on like the flat world. Um, 
because I'm not entirely sure how that would work over there because of all the bumps and stuff. We can go try it. Let's go try it, actually. I don't know if this is going to stop my recording. I hope not. Um, let's do new game, creative, and we'll just do whatever. It doesn't need to be anything. I just type some buttons randomly. I don't know if this is going to work over here on Flat World because it's, a, it's, not a, it's not an actual flat surface. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that down. Put our bearing down. Now we just need our thrusters. Simplest thing. The longest amount of time is actually going into here and getting the getting the needed uh, item. That's like the longest thing. It's, it's how long it takes. You have to see how long it takes me to make this thing. And I, you could even probably go even faster than what I just did. But I mean, that was like no time at all. all right, how's this operate over here? Because you can see it's really bumpy. Yep. So there we go. That's, that's like the only thing is like I wish this world was actually flat. She's loving it. Look at her. She loves it. Oh no! That's the flat world for you. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe.